Good afternoon. I'm Luke Lidden with a look at sports. Let's get to it. The Chihuahuas with a matinee game today, hoping to close out the series against the Tacoma Rainiers on a positive note. The first pitch was delayed about 30 minutes due to some rain. But you better think again if you believe that'll stop the fans and their dogs from showing some love. It was the first bark of the park of the season. We picked this one up in the top of the fourth. Rainier Jesus Montero making contact in. Uh oh. Say goodbye to that ball. Tacoma ties it up at two. And this game was all Tacoma early. Still top of the fourth. Patrick Kevilhan making contact and going yard. We don't even need to follow the ball because we know that one's not staying in the park. Tacoma takes the three to two lead. But now it's the Chihuahua's turn. Austin Hedges at bat with the deep hit to left field. Fear the ears. Chihuahua's back on the board. They are down three to five at the bottom of the fourth. But the Chihuahuas do rally back and hold on to win 7-6, to six, and they're now 2-2 two and two on the season. The final round of the Masters teed off this afternoon, and the odds-on favor to win it all, Rory McIlroy did very well on such a challenging course. Don't get me wrong, but his work was overshadowed by 21-year-old Jordan Spieth. The Masters in Augusta just now wrapped up, but due to certain restrictions, we cannot show the highlights until it is completely finished. So here's a look at the leaderboard. 21-year-old Jordan Spieth, the third youngest player in PGA Tour history to win multiple PGA Tour events, now joins the elite Green Jacket Club. He won the Masters by four strokes over Justin Rose at 18 under, matching Tiger Woods' record back in 1997 and at the same age, 21 years old. Incredible. Followed by Mickelson in at third at 14 under and McElroy in fourth at 12 under. Woods shot one over par on the day and finished tied for 17th at five under. And if you missed the news, don't worry, we got you covered. After an incredible soccer match that went all the way to a shootout between Horizon and Bel Air in the regional final, we have next week's matchup set in stone. Horizon cl clinched a trip to the final four with the final goal in yesterday's shootout. They will have their hands full in Austin next week as they take on 25 0 and 1 Georgetown Eastview. The game kicks off on April 16th at 7 30. And for the first time in program history, San Elizario over in 4A has made it to the final four. One more win, and they can finally say, We go on to the ship. What? And they will face 25 3 1 Kilgore on the 16th at 4 p.m. If San L advances, they will play in the finals on the 17th. At 2:30, and if Horizon moves forward, they will play for the state championship on the 18th at 1:30, and we will try our best to get the highlights for both of those games. And this brings us to our community champion, sponsored by Southwest University. Mark Franco, head coach of the Horizon Boys Soccer Team, doing a tremendous job on the season, headed to the Final Four and not letting anything get in their way. Now that's what I call determination. We said, hey, we're not going to end here. Our season's not over yet. We worked too hard and too much to let this end here. We came out and we gave it everything we had. I couldn't ask for a better outcome. An awesome run, and hopefully they keep on going. And Miners basketball fans, if you're holding out for this, holding out hope for this guy, Vince Hunter, to return for his junior season, it's about time to let go. It still looks like Hunter of the Miners basketball squad is bound for the NBA. We reported last week Hunter decided to forego his final two years of eligibility to take his talents to the elite level. Sources close to the program say if Hunter had not gotten an agent, he could have had the chance to join back for his junior year. Today was the deadline to make that final call, and it looks like his decision is set in stone. Hunter tweeted this comment out a few days back saying, quote, don't worry about me, I'll be just fine. If indeed no news breaks on his return to UTEP, we wish Vince the best of luck on his journey to the NBA. And finally, the El Paso Rhinos have been making a name for themselves the past two seasons. A chance to repeat and hang on. A chance to repeat and hang that banner once again for all the fans to see. With the championship series tied at 1-1 against the Idaho Steelheads, the boys are rolling. And tonight at 10, we have an inside look at what's led to the team's tremendous success and how they won't stop until they get their hands on the Thorn Cup once again. That's a look at sports. Okay, thank you, Luke. Carla, let's take a quick look at radar. We now have some storms moving into northern.